There are questions being raised tonight in Columbia County about how Bloomsburg police officers handled a call to a brawl last weekend. And video of the police call that night has now surfaced. Our lead I-team reporter Andy Mahalshik went looking for answers. And Andy, what did you learn? Hey, Kenneth, the I-team obtained video of the incident in Bloomsburg. At first glance, it appears to show a police officer shoving a woman to the ground. But the police chief says, hold on one minute. That video shows his officers taking control of a very dangerous situation. It's a story I only see here on Eyewitness News. This is cell phone video taken at around 2 a.m. Sunday on East Street in Bloomsburg. It shows several people fighting and two Bloomsburg police officers trying to get control of the situation. At some point, a young woman approaches from the left and confronts one of the officers. It appears the officer shoves her to the ground. But Chief Leo Sokolowski says the officers were outnumbered and were trying to gain control of that scene. You know, certainly I think at first glance that a knee-jerk reaction could be perceived that the, the, the police officer uh, pushed a, uh, a person backwards. However, uh, a police officer certainly has the authority to, to direct people that are non-compliant and to use a substantial amount of force to protect themselves, to effect an arrest, and protect the public at large. Chief Sokolowski also received a copy of this video. After enhancing it by computer, he says it shows his officer had his arm out and a taser pulled. But the taser was not aimed at the woman. He insists the woman's friend did the pushing. She charges the, the uh, woman that falls uh, backwards and, uh, and it looks like, uh, you know, sh there's just a thrust that, that she deploys uh, causes this woman to, to fall backward. The chief also says the video does not show that one of the people on the ground had a gun. Officers at the time, again, uh, were significantly outnumbered by the persons that were involved in a fight. Uh, officers uh, uh, ordered people to get on the ground and comply with lawful commands as they did not know what, what the disturbance uh, had originated over. And the names of those officers not yet being released for their own safety and the investigation continues. Chief Sokolowski says three of the people, including the woman who fell backwards, will be charged with disorderly conduct. For the I-Team, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Oh, no, play. I hit my nose. Joke. 